was gonna do the whole like cute like turning my head thing and then I just I just feel ridiculous again I cannot pull it off you guys I don't know what to say what are not then welcome to my channel so today we are gonna play more with the Jeffree Star Blue Bud palette um I don't why well, I can't I keep saying Blue Bud instead of Blue Blood I don't I don't know what's happening it's Monday so anyways I always need a few days to really test out a palette before I give like my final thoughts like I did do my first impressions I'll have it linked up here that is where I do like swatches and my first like actual impression of the palette and now I've used it for a few days and kind of played came up with looks let my emotions take over me and decide how I actually feel so we are going to continue to play with this please don't forget to subscribe down below I really appreciate you guys and let's go ahead and jump into this video okay so you guys are zoomed in nice and close um, I already did this eye just because I was messing with the palette and kind of wanted to figure out a look I really wanted to do. Um, so we are going to go in with Blue Monday. And I love this Morphe M560 brush. Um, just because I don't find, like I said, I feel like blue is one of those colors to where you have to like really play with it and see what you like because I feel like even though it's like a fun palette it's it's hard for me to like find blue looks that i'm like oh that's really nice like generally i'm like i, I kind of like i said like i just feel like a clown so and i feel like blue is definitely one of those where i'm like i don't feel like i could wear this without a full face of makeup because i don't feel like it would just like the look just would not come together so i kind of really messed with it today to find a look that i was like okay i want to do looks that i'm actually going to wear out of the house that i'm like I feel comfortable in but still like pretty you know what I mean not like a full-on look so I'm just going to take this through the crease nice and slow I'm not really trying to blend it I'm kind of more just packing it on and then like flicking it out and I'm just gonna build that up nice and slow okay, I wish I had the lid space for those really big looks like I will say something like Nicole Concilio like her lid space I'm always so jealous I just don't have it to where I could blend like five colors and like cool crease shades on top of each other like I don't like looks that go all the way up to my eyebrow like I'm still like I, I would just not have it just would not be there you know so yeah this is what I came up with and then I did like five more <laughs> um I definitely still so I've been playing with it now for a few days I Talked about, I did come with one of the shades broken. I did call Morphe. Um, so they actually have a palette on hold for me. They At first they were like, we sold out. And then they called back saying like, we found one. And I was like, okay, but I live an hour, like 45 minutes, an hour away. And they're like, okay, we'll just come in when you can. But now they keep calling me. They're like, are you coming? And I'm like, I'm coming. I just have work and stuff. Like I can't come in right now. So I will probably go switch it out this week. I still think I want to keep this palette. I keep going back and forth. Like, I like it, but it's, I don't know. There's just something about it. I think it's the pastels that like, I'm trying to keep playing with to like figure out, but like, they're just not showing up on my skin tone the way that I want them to. Like, I was really excited about like the peachy shade and the pink shade. And I feel like a lot of the minty, like, like the pastels just aren't aren't showing the way I want them to show. So I'm a little irritated, but I am also like trying to make it work, you know? So I figure the more I'll play with it, the more I'll figure it out. And that's how it usually is with palettes. Like once I use them for a while, then I'm usually like, okay, I really like it, or no, it's not for me. But we are going to blend this top shade out with I'm cold. And then that's kind of also like I'm cold is just a little like a lot of the shades are pretty similar as far as obviously it's it's blue tones <laughs> so I totally expect that so that's fine but we're taking that on the same exact brush and just blending out that blue and it's kind of even though it's a simple look it's just more like just going back and forth and back and forth you know until you get what you want out of it so and then on a fluffy brush I'm going to take the shade Priceless which is the peachy shade and just blend out that top a little bit more 
thing with priceless like you guys will see that is what it looks like then there's not really a hint of peach and if I take the shade wealthy which is that cream white it kind of just does the same exact thing so I think that's my problem is like it just feels like there's some shades where like that the pastel hint doesn't show up on me let me know if you guys are feeling like that or if it's just me I feel like I always am the one person that's like <laughs> but I'm not I'm not complaining I'm just new to you you know you gotta be picky a little so now I'm going to cut the crease all the way and wing it out towards this side okay and then on a wet brush I'm gonna pack that white shade called Cullinan I swear those lawn mowers they only start when I'm about to film or when it's like my one day where I'm like oh I can sleep in today and then and then they show up at like seven o'clock in the morning all right so next we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pack this shade on I'm sorry about the noise obviously but there's not much I can really do um, and I just cut my crease with some tart shape tape I said that right this time but yeah let me know your guys' thoughts like I know a lot of people have their hands on this already so let me know what you guys are thinking I also feel like this is gonna be like a really good complimentary palette. Like I think that's what I would use it for more than anything. Like when I just want a pop of color, I'll probably come into this. But like I've been dying to use the shade like Entitled so much. Like this is so gorgeous. But because of the crease shades, I don't feel like it's gonna pop the way I want it to against these colors. Like Flourishing I love, but like those are my two favorite shades. And if I use this shimmer on the lid and then this shade in the crease, it's just not going to like pop out the way I want it to so I just want I think I want to like really play with other palettes but I definitely get a little bit annoyed when watching a video on a palette and then they reach for like other shades that you don't have so let me know if you guys mind that or if you don't really care um but I also feel like this is a good even with like other Jeffree Star palettes this is a really good complimentary palette so I will eventually play with some other things um what else is that going to say? Oh, I have some exciting news. My um my sister is having a baby. I'm like, I think I can say that now because she has told the whole world. Um, so this is the first time on my side of the family where someone's having a baby. Like immediate family. Like there's three there's three of us and then my parents stopped at the four, but the four are all under like the age of twelve. And so out of me and my oldest sister is like this is the first baby, so I am excited. I'm really excited about it. We'll see how hers go. Like next, like we can have one now, and I'm just like, nope. Let's uh, let's see how how it is with them, and we'll we'll take it from there. It's like stressing me out already. With here, it's like we can have two kids, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I said one. Let's start with one. Like I, I get so overwhelmed thinking about having kids in general. So, but yes, I'm very excited for my sister. Okay, so next I'm gonna dip into the shade Cremated, which is a little bit of a darker tealy color. And I'm just gonna kinda go over that crease, because you guys can see like this is a little bit of a different color than the other side. So I'm mixing in a few different shades. But that's why you kinda need like these like really tiny detailed brushes are great. This is the Morphe E37. It's a great little inner corner brush, but it's great for Stuff like this that you don't probably do every day or at least I don't do these every day that's for sure I don't know why this side is turning up more green I, uh, I was watching Hannah on the couch and did this eye and now I'm like crap did I use that shade I'm pretty sure I did so that is what is going on here if I pick that up and just go over this side and make them more even. I love looks like this, but uh, this is not five minutes. Or if it is for you, congratulations. <laughs> but it's not for me. It's definitely a little bit harder than what they usually do. Okay, so on a tiny little brush, in which you guys can totally skip this part because it's not like it did that much to it but it did enough to what I was like I'm gonna do that again um, this is breakfast at Tiffany's from Jeffree Star 
and I'm just gonna kind of pop it right on that outer corner just to have a little bit of mint because I, I need it I just I love I love mint I <laughs> uh, if he could come out with an all mint palette that is like the one thing I kept saying where I'm just like why didn't he come out with like a light mint shimmer that would have been great like I love entitled but if it was just a little bit brighter which I do have his mint frost that's kind of what I was saying is like I would reach for other things and then incorporate that into this but I also want to get used out of a $52 palette without it you know so just a little extra oomph with the green okay and then the trick is just to make sure that they're even and then that's good so I'm going to put on my face makeup and then come back and finish out the lower lash line um, it wasn't bad today as far as fallout goes. I did have some on this side for sure, but for the most part, like, it was okay. I just, it's just much easier to do your eyes first when doing looks like these where it's hard to wipe off. Like, I just used my hair the other day to kind of, like, cover that, but today I was like, let's just do, let's just do this. So, all right, I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup, and then we will come do the lower lash line together. Okay, so I have my mascara on. I did add some liner. I don't do like a full on wing. Some people can pull it off like super nice with these types of looks. I just feel like with my eye shape though, it's, it kind of turns down my eyes. I don't have the biggest eyes, but I also like, I don't know. It just makes my eyes look a little bit too small and a little bit too turned down. So even though I love like the looks where they like connect the eye, like I'm just, they just don't flatter my eye shape. So that is why. But if you have big beautiful eyes you do what you do um i'm gonna grab the shade undertaker which is more of like a navy blue and smoke that out on the lower lash line oh my gosh though it's gonna be so funny though to see my sister with a baby we went out to dinner on saturday night and my parents had to find sitter so they're like okay well we can't go out till eight and she was just like that late we're gonna have to stay up that late like my sister is not a like she does not do well when she's tired she's very like she gets in such a bad mood and I'm just like oh your life is going to change and I'm going to just bask in this <laughs> and I mean I'm obviously gonna help too but yeah my I mean she like anytime I have a sleepover it's like she's asleep by like 10 like she's just not and she's not like a super early morning person either so I'm really excited she doesn't watch my videos so I can I can talk as much shit as I want like <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to, she's not due until September, so we find out if it's a boy or a girl this weekend. Alright, so just be careful, tap your brush off, because that way it don't go nowhere. And then I also, I haven't smoked out the other lash line the way I want to ease that yet. But like, I'll kind of take this and flick it up a little bit. I just don't take the black and flick it out. So I kind of use my lower lash line as a guide to swoop my eye upwards, you know? So I look awake. And if you're wondering, Hannah on Amazon Prime was not as great as I wanted it to be. Like I just did not, I don't know. Does anybody else watch shows where it's like, it can be like, like Walking Dead was just on and I'm like, where has the snow been the last nine seasons? Like all of a sudden there's snow. Like that makes no sense. And Nick gets so, my husband gets so pissy when I'm like that. Cause he's just like, it doesn't matter. And I'm like, it does though. It matters. Like I need things to kind of make sense. And he's like, there are zombies in the show. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. Or like when people are supposed to be like living underground and like one of those types of shows and yet they have a cute outfit every time and like perfect makeup. And I'm just like, what? No. All right, so I'm gonna smoke out, we're gonna use, see, so like, let's try to use Priceless again, which is that peachy shade, just to kind of use it as a, just to buff it out. And I'll kind of show you guys what I mean. Like, it, it just, I love the shade in the pan, but for some reason in my eyes, it doesn't really give that peachy, like, tone to it. So I can see a little, I have a little tiny fallout there. It's gonna be okay though. So yeah, you can't really see that tone at all. So that's why I'm kind of just like, okay, I could take Wealthy, which is like this cream shade right here, and do the exact same thing. And there's really not like any any difference. So uh, I'm trying to think of other pastel -y. Like I have the Kat Von D Goth palette 
Is it the goth palette? I think so. And those pastels show up beautifully on my skin, so I'm just kind of like, why aren't these showing up that well? And when I swatch it, well, when I swatched it, it was light, so I guess not. All right, so for that inner rim, oh, yeah, I'm gonna grab the Marc Jacobs Deja Blue. I love these just for the fact that I don't have to sharpen them. For some reason, I lose my sharpener. I lose everything. I really was trying to look for Drug Lord um, because I like to do looks with it, and uh, it has ran away. Like every time I can't find something, I like sit there and lecture myself for like 15 minutes on. I'm so unorganized, why am I like this? I'm gonna be better. And then I find what I'm looking for and then 10 minutes later I lose it. Okay, so that looks nice. Now Zayn, let's see here, let's finish off the look. I'm gonna use, for my highlight, I'm gonna do what I did the other day and use this palette as my highlight. So I'm gonna use Crystal Flesh again, just cause that worked out really well, so why not? I do really love this. This I could use every day. And that rose gold shade. I mean, just this shade in general. I could use this all the time. We're going to take Jeffree Star's Leo. I believe this is Leo lip liner. I keep forgetting that I bought a few of his lip liners. Um, I brought the breakfast at Tiffany's hoping it would be great in the waterline. I still prefer using the liquid lipstick in the waterline over that one. It just isn't as vibrant. And then I probably didn't use this because I didn't sharpen it. That's probably why I forgot that I had it. Because for a while there I was like, why don't I use these? I don't have a problem with them. But yeah, I only got the two shades. And I think it's because I didn't sharpen it. And yes, I am overlining. Don't judge me, okay? I am excited for like his concealers and like face products to come out though. I'm like really excited about that. And then I'm gonna use the shade Hunty. So this is more of a nude from his collection that works for me. I don't look the best. I think it's in Celebrity Skin and Mannequin. I can make it work with a good lip liner, but it doesn't look the best on my skin tone, I don't think. Whereas this shade, I like how it's like a brownie. And I guess the other ones are brownie too, but either way, I like this shade. I also really hope he does lip glosses next. Like that's something I'm like always surprised he doesn't have yet. I'm just like, lip glosses, I feel like he would do a really good job, but we will wait for the concealers. So. Anyways, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like the look I came up with. Let me know which shade you want me to use next. Um, like I said, I'm definitely like still on the fence. Like I'm still, I'm like, you know, I'm still really trying here to like get into this. Like not because the shades are bad. It's just a few of them aren't showing up on my skin tone. And it was the shades that like, I know nobody bought the blue palette for the peach shade but I like my peach shades, you know? Um, anyways, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, what you want me to do. I would be happy to. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next video.